fan favorite. But Jordan with the B. Elon! <laughs> Thought it was gone. It's back, baby. <laughs> Euro's nearly over. Let him shoot back on soon. <laughs> yes. Uh, France three, Switzerland three, Switzerland go through on penalties. What were your thoughts on the game? <laughs> France probably watched that game before Portugal and Belgium. They're like, ah, Belgium out. I mean, Portugal out. Uh, we've got an easy tournament. They're going to make cheese out of Switzerland. Get it? Swiss cheese. But, oh my days. Shaka for Ballon d'Or. Friends are actually like... <laughs> ah, they're actually bad. That France-Switzerland game was nuts. Switzerland came up firing in the first half. They were quality. Long lay. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Bush. It's a fair bitch. Bush. Because the game was early, my eyes closed quickly. I didn't, tr- I didn't try to close them, they closed. I wake up 3 all. <laughs> I had to do this. One, I'm vexed because I had to wake up in the morning early, 5 a.m., sit here on this couch with my brother Denai, and watch Africa FC get spanked, bruv. You know, when the underdog wins, always a good game, but... We've got to start asking the real questions here. And who's at fault for this for this loss for France? Let's not actually cap. Let's not cap. Let's not cap. Because to the end of the match, I was gassed. I said, why we're putting goals in the back of the net? There's only one answer. He's half Ghanaian, half Tanzanian. Jesse Odom. <laughs> he is totally at fault, France. If you want to, if you want to find a guy to blame, he lives in <laughs> New South Wales. Did you notice? Did you notice? <laughs> Level five boss, that's where he lives. You love to see it. You love to see the underdog come out on top. I think France was shocking in the first half. Second half, they played their best probably 30 minutes of football their whole tournament. And then they were like, oh, cool, we've won the game. But there was still, I don't know how long, 20 minutes left to play. You know who I blame? Mitch. Last episode, yeah, Mitch was like, yeah, Pogba's moving nice. He's not worried about his hair. The next game, man has like a blue strip with a bit of with a bit of white there, you know, a bit of white there, and they lose. So this this loss, it's on Mitch. Mitch, you ruined this for Africa FC. It was your fault. I blame you, not Mbappe. Well, um, it was good seeing two Arsenal players playing on the field today. You know, my boy Xhaka, my boy Eddie and Katia. Oh shit! Sorry, sorry. I mean Mbappe. <laughs> This brother was horrible. Switzerland was just the better team. I think France was a bit of a mess, although there was like some individual performances in France that were really good to watch. I think Pogba's goal was like super high level. Switzerland deserved to win the game. I think if you're up 3-1 and you, and you lose, there's, you can't say anything about it. Um, Gavranovic's goal to sit up Kim Pembe. Kim Pembe, I think, looked for his iPhone on the ground. I don't know what he was doing, but he got he got twisted up. But that finish, quality. The finishing in this game, this game was honestly one of the best games I've seen in years. Pengus Techers, one question. Your boy's Germany out. My boy. Is football coming home? You know what? I don't think it's about if football's coming home. To be completely honest, Denai Gapare, Mr. Government Name, Debo, I'm happy for you, man. You know what? A lot of people don't know about Denai. They don't know what he's gone through in his life. They don't know what they don't know about him. So for me personally, I'm happy for you. If you knew, if you knew his background, this guy international football, international football hasn't really hasn't really been a big thing for Denai. He's never seen England win ever. Mugabe select, <laughs> Zimbabwe eleven, have never ever won a national team game ever. They've never ever won a game. And to make things worse, eight of his cousins and one of his aunties play for the team. Oh my God. So Denai, you know what? I'm, 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 I'm really happy for you. I'm happy that you get to see England winning some games and I'm proud of you, you know? Crowd, I told you. Ole, ole, hands in the air, we're bringing it home. Ole, ole, hands in the air, we're bringing it home. Understand them lyrics, man. Blood cup. Boom, 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 boom. Is football coming home? Trust. 
Africa FC at the tournament, so I'm moving to my secondary team, which is going to have to be the Three Lions. Big up to my England doggies. Last night I was watching. I had to stay up for the game. I was a bit, I was a, I was a bit stressed because I was like, I don't know if we're actually going to do this. And then we come clutch. Boy from Brent, shout out Raheem, came and did his thing. You know who the real winner of that game is? Sports bet. You know, I, mean, I reckon of the 7 billion people in the world and counting, shout out SBS, I think maybe 7 people, 7 billion people betted on Germany winning. So sports bet, you guys are raking in cash right now, cuz. You guys are swimming, drowning in money. $5 notes. I reckon everyone putting them quick multi. I don't my guy Mitch putting six Germany winning multis when he could have just put the six. $30 into one game and Germany would have won. But he lost anyways. It's coming home. I don't know how the song goes, but it's coming home. England can lose to anybody in this tournament. So whether it comes home, that's dependent on the day. But this performance... Sterling's the best football I've seen him play of England in my life. Greenish kind of changed the whole tempo of the game before that. Um, I wasn't too impressed by England, but I think, you know, if they continue on with Grealish, Shaw, Kane, Sterling, he got some of the um, back reward that he needed in that game. It's coming yard. It's not coming home. It's coming yard. I woke up. It was a terrible dream. Deny. He was celebrating. He had an England kid on, but no shorts. Just his Under Armour underwear. Um, and it was just haunting me. And then I woke up, saw England 2, Germany nil. Went back, watched the game, Mikhail Saka masterclass. It should be coming home, but I hope it doesn't. They have not been playing well. That game was so uninteresting. It was boring. I was watching it and I just I stopped watching it, just had it as background noise. It was it was terrible. Germany didn't play that well. Because I thought Germany could have had it in the bag. But when you play Timo Werner as a nine, I was like, man, they're really trying to lose this game bad. Because if you've seen Timo Werner this season and you're trying to win a game, he's not going to win you a game. Timo Werner. You know who's better than Timo Werner? I watched Bender like Beckham the other day. Jasminda from B Bender like Beckham, I promise you is better than Timo Werner. Thomas Muller. Thomas Muller. Oh my God. Even I could have finished that. Honestly. Thomas Muller. That guy should be beheaded like, oh my. One on one. And he does that. We're going Rome, gonna pepper Ukraine. Come back to Wem Wem, win the semi final, win the final, bring a football home. Germany, I told you lot, you can't come Wem Wem and think you're gonna score. You can't do that. These Jamaican brothers are carrying you lot. After you wanna be racist to my man? Come on now, come on now. It's coming home. I'm sorry, it's coming yard. What do you make of the 2020 Euros? Um, I think they've been exciting. I give it a eight out of 10 so far. Um, I love, I'm like a sucker for an underdog and I just love when big teams get knocked out, you know, Greece in 2004. I'm hoping someone can repeat that. Repeat that. Um, for me, when I watched that first England-Croatia game, I thought this is the worst tournament I've ever watched. I thought the quality poor, the good players shit, the bad players shit, the coaches shit, everything was shit about it. But then as I started to watch the tournament, more exciting games happening, some nice young players playing well, some teams playing playing great football. I've seen crazy comebacks, crazy underdog victories, you know. It's it's really impressed me since that game and I've been I've been enjoying it. So far, so good. I've enjoyed them. Some of the games have been really good. Lots of surprises, individual shiners. I've enjoyed watching Macedonia play. Came out of bed just to have Jeremy watch this, look at this jersey throughout these takes. <laughs> um, but no, like, I love seeing them on the world stage. Tournament's been actually very exciting to watch. You don't know who's going to win anymore. So sports bet, <laughs> if you're watching, sponsor me, cuz, cuz I can throw people off if you want. <laughs> I've got a platform now, cuz. As a whole, it's been maybe a 7 out of 10. Could have been more, you know, excitement, more grit in the games. But it's all right, we move. 
Seven. I should go five. <laughs> the only reason I'm saying five is because I've only like, I've only been following like um, England and France. No the guys. Euros as a whole, you know, decent, decent, better than, better than the last Euros, better than the World Cup. I think, um, yeah, quite good. It's been average, like five out of ten probably, but it doesn't matter because it's coming home. England going to win the Euros at home at Wem Wem. Raza, Raheem Sterling. Bagging a couple goals at his own yard. I've said it. It's going to happen. Crowd, make sure you're listening. Quality's been average. No defense, just vibes. So it's been a weird. It's been a weird tournament, though. Like I've enjoyed it some games, but for the most part, I thought some games were a bit dead. The quality was average. The standard of players, a lot of them look the same. So yeah, it's obviously I love watching football. I love tournament football, but. It hasn't been like a, wow, this tournament was sick. I think people are loving the Euros because of the unpredictability. Is that a word? I hope that's a word. Unpredictability of the tournament. If you want unpredictability, watch African Cup of Nations. You don't know if there's going to be grass on the field. You don't <laughs> some games are 11 versus 11. Some are 18 versus 18. Just depends on the day. Shit, so my honest opinion of the Euros so far is that this tournament has been pretty fucking appalling. I can't lie. All the teams that I thought were going to make it through to the damn finals, the semis, the quarters, whatever you want to call them, John's there, are out of the tournament. Portugal, gone. Africa FC, I'm embarrassed to say they're gone. Germany, gone. Like, all the dons that I kind of backed, I'm stressed. Wales, like, all them, it's, Scotland, screw it. Uh, North Macedonia, screw it. <laughs> So there's also teams that I don't really rate that aren't there no more. But I genuinely thought some of the Giants were going to like power walk their way straight through this. But look, we live, we learn. There's one Giant left. It's England. And we're going to do this for the country. I'm not even English, but oh, all my family is over there. So I have to big them up 10 times, bro. It's coming home. It's coming home. Quick fire prediction. Switzerland, Spain. Uh, Spain. Switzerland. Ferran Torres. Spain. Switzerland. I'm going to go with Switzerland just because we've got Granit Xhaka in there and he's Arsenal, so hopefully Swiss. I'm going to give it to my Espanol brothers over there. Switzerland. Spain. Has to be Switzerland, man. Belgium, Italy. 5 a.m. Teresa. Italy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor. <laughs> Belgium. Italy, man. I'm going to go with Italy. I predicted Belgium to win the tournament. i got to stick with them. I'm going to give it to my... Actually, no, 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 no. I want Belgium to go through so we can lick them up. I don't want to see Italy play no more football. They're playing too good at the minute. Italy. 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 I'm going with the Italians. Czech Republic, Denmark. Oh. Czech Republic. Schmack. Czech Republic. Denmark. Denmark quite easily. I'm going to say Denmark. Denmark had a wild game the other night. So let's hope Czech Republic get through because I need it to be as easy as possible for England to get this dub. The Danes. Denmark. Hoiberg in the low block. Denmark doing their thing. Forsberg. Hoiberg. Damn Scott. This guy, can you listen? He said Forsberg. Oh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> and lastly, Ukraine, England. Um... I don't want to say it, but England. Steady one still, England. It's coming home. Good. Good, good. Ukraine, baby. England are going home, cars. I'm going to say England because England are bringing it home. It's coming home. England, but it's only going to make it more of a heartbreak because they're going to lose the next round. England. England. What type of question is Ukraine, England? We already know what the answer is. It's coming home. Enough said. Life, life's been hard for this guy. It's, it hasn't been easy. He's, he's created a great life for himself, but he's got to wake up and watch football in the morning. Going for Arsenal during the season, going for England in international tournaments, going to family events, watching his cousins play for Zimbabwe. It's, it's, not, an easy, it's not an easy gig. And this guy does it perfectly. He wakes up every game with, with such enthusiasm. He watches all the games. He supports Southgate. He supports the queen, the prince, the baby, every Arch, Archibald, all of them. He supports them. So really, it's not, it's, not about, it's not about football at the end of the day. It's about our friends, us as a community, enjoying, enjoying each other, enjoying our lives, 
watching our teams be the best they can be. It's an APB app for a brother by the name of Samuel Habtamarium. So word on the street is you've got something to say to us brothers out here that are going for the three lions. All I have to say to you, brother, is it's coming home. Samuel, yeah? Pengus Techers, youth player. Get back to the bench, man. Get back to cleaning my boots. And just quickly, before you even dare to say anything on Southgate, that brother has a clean sheet or tournament. So I don't care if you missed the pen back in 96. Let that brother live. Holland. Then Holland, gone. Shall I continue? Sweden, gone. Portugal, gone. Germany, gone. Scotland, gone. I'm the only lamb shoot member with a team still in the tournament. Enough said.